Hi everyone, welcome to Back Talk Teen. I'm Julia here with Jess and Devin. And that was just Greg Weintraub on the piano, and we'll talk to him later. But first, I have some very disappointing news. The world did not end yesterday. How is it disappointing? I don't know. Well, it's disappointing for some people. Yes. Because yes. they spent millions of dollars like trying to advertise how the world's gonna end, and then it didn't. <laughs> So, what's the deal with that? <laughs> so, I heard about this guy named Harold Camping, and he was some Christian um, radio spokesman. He spent his entire life savings, $140,000, on advertising, like all these billboards, how the world was going to end for Judgment Day. And, well, we're all still sitting here, so apparently it didn't end. Wait, what's that going to do, though, like by him telling us? Like, we know that, but it's not like we're going um, to be able to get out of it. He wanted to mentally prepare us, so I guess, so we wouldn't. Well, also, do you guys know the movie Last Holiday with Queen Latifah? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where she gets that cancer and she hears that she's going to die in 10 days? Mm -hmm. This is like this, is like this, except we don't die. I mean, it's like... That, no, no, wait, wait. What I was going to say is like there's, pe like, there's people out there that spend um, a lot of money. 12, 12, 2012. I still believe I in that. No, 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 that but day. that's still gonna you know, happen. You know how in last holiday, the, since she knew she was gonna die, she went out and spent lots and lots of money on mm. like big time stuff. There's probably and she there's, was screwed. There's yeah, there's people out there that did that. They heard the the world was gonna end, so they went out and spent lots and lots of money. I can't Except believe people actually did that. I don't even hear about it. There was one sign that the world was maybe gonna end. So the price of honey has been going up because there's been less and less honeybees. And there was some sign in the Bible that when honeybees start to disappear, the world's going to come to an end. But apparently... Oh my god. But then there's like obviously some whole nature explanation of why there's not that many honeybees left. I don't know, guys. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty legit to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're all still sitting here today, so... Yes. We well, there's still it. that 2012 thing, you know, like... You guys were scared though, right? I'm scared. I'm yeah, expecting was, that. Did you see that was, movie? No, no, no. no. Oh, it, oh, it was terrible. No, but you know how it was, the, the world was supposed to end yesterday at 6 p.m.? Well, like I was like, you were somewhere special, right? I was at Kiss concert listening oh. to Sean Kingston, telling myself I do not want to die listening to Sean Kingston. <laughs> like, no offense, but... So who was your favorite act at Kiss concert? Um, probably David Guetta. I mean, I don't really listen to his music all that much, but like, mm -hmm. this like robot came out on stage and like blew puffs of air, and it was just like, like really That's spectacular, awesome. um, and then I touched the singer of the script. You touched I him. I love the script. I mean, I, I love the script, but like you know. Yeah, you don't know him personally. I just like touched it's his like back. The idea. Yeah. You touched his back. <laughs> well, because he walked by me and he. So you're he just like, oh, ooh, I want to touch you. Ooh, no, I, ooh. I, I like patted back. I was like, good job. Like he, he was probably like, like even. I'm not even paying yeah, attention. Yeah, there's Sean Kingston. Like, One Republic oh, was good another job. good one. I actually, uh, uh, I went to Geared Up yesterday or no today. I had this event and I. Just like edit this whole big like video. Like we talked about yesterday, I mean last, last weekend. Week. Yeah, and I mm -hmm. actually used the song Good Life by One Republic, which they oh. performed a great performance of that song there. And probably the worst performance was Big Time Rush or Cody Simpson. You know, they, they're like the, they're like the they're Justin okay. Bieber's, I like you know. did not who they, know who they were. I went to Universal over April vacation, and their music videos were everywhere. They were not good. I felt like they I was deaf awful. when yeah. Big Time Rush came on because there was a lot of little girls there, and they were <laughs> screaming their heads off. It's like... I went to Kiss concert a few years ago, and the Black Eyed Peas performed, and their set was incredible. They had these giant blow-up things on the side of the stage, and like really cool light-up dancers and stuff. So, was there any like one? But they like blew away everyone else. You know what I mean? Was there one act that was just on top of everyone? Were they last? No, they were right in the middle, so they didn't even close the show. I don't but think they, that. Yeah, like, I hate they that. They obviously spent so much more money than all the other acts, and were so much higher quality. Everything about them was great. I think mm -hmm. that that. The, the most popular performers are the ones that, like, the people that are, make the lineup, they should be saying, like, let's put the the performer that's probably going to do, like, an amazing, amazing job. They should put them last, last. so the people yeah. will they stay. Had, they had Flo Rider last, and, like, you know, he came out to the audience, but a lot of people yeah. had left because it was late. Was he the one, like, because yeah, when I, mean, I saw him, he lip sang. It was awful. It was like, I could listen to your music on a CD, and it sounds exactly the same. Mm -hmm. I, like, I could agree with that, yeah. Yeah. I, I think they should have put Lady Gaga on last, right? Did She's you too big. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. She, she wasn't at Kiss Con. She wasn't? No. Well, speaking of big sets, you know what? That makes sense because I saw her on Saturday Night Live last night, 
And I she, saw Lady Gaga a few weeks ago. I went to her concert. Oh, it wow. Was incredible. Yeah, and she has this new album coming out. I think it's tomorrow that yes, comes it, out. Yeah. No, 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 no. No? Uh, Sometimes the release week. party tomorrow, it's Tuesday. Oh, music comes out on Tuesday. All come out on Tuesdays. Tuesdays come out yeah. on Tuesday, yeah. mm -hmm. Here's the new album cover, Born This Way. Oh, it looks creepy. So, act, so two of my new favorite songs I've been listening to all week is mm. Hair and Edge of Glory. I love Edge Born of Glory. It's been stuck in my head. Yeah. I love that song too, but I can't. I, and I liked Judas and Born This Way, but I don't like Hair. I can't I like Hair. It. I've been listening to it a lot more. At first when I heard it, it sounded very generic. But now yeah. that I'm listening to it more, it's actually really good. The lyrics are cool. That's kind of like, remember when um, Born This Way just came and out? And you hated I it! I hated yes. it! And we were so against you But now I love it. it. I can't get enough of that song. So, whoops. So, yeah. I'm, I don't know. I know I'm going to like any Lady Gaga song that comes out pretty much. Yeah. And especially Judas. That song came out the day before I had a test on the Bible. And so I was just like, I just listened to that song. Oh and God. I was like, oh, oh. And one of the questions was, who betrayed Jesus? And I was like, Judas, <laughs> Lady Gaga. That helps. So, so it worked. It worked. Yeah. Um, so I guess Lady Gaga songs can help more than just... You know, dancing. I saw a picture of Lady Gaga the other day in a magazine. She was going to some event. You should have seen what she was wearing. It was this black and white dress. It looked like a tent, and it had mm -hmm. wires in it that the dress, like, stuck out everywhere, and her whole head was in, like, this weird-shaped hat. You couldn't even tell it was her. It was so funny. Well, I think it's kind of expected now for her to wear, yeah. like, crazy stuff. I know. Yeah. I feel like if she wore something normal, like jeans and a plain top, I would never see it would that. be, like, the biggest thing. I would not thing. recognize her. And she has, like, this new weird hairstyle that's, like, Platinum blonde, then with like black, like yeah. black things, and, like random black chunks. She's yeah, like her roots aren't dyed. I, I don't she, know, it's weird. Did you guys hear she's gonna be on Good Morning America on Friday? Oh. Actually, so she's building a house in Martha's Vineyard, and. No, she I, already has it, I heard. Yeah, so, well, her producer has a house there, and so she's building one there. Martha's Vineyard? Yeah, and it's like right next door. I, I have a oh, house on one. Martha's Vineyard, and I'm gonna be there this Memorial Day weekend, so I'll look out for her. <gasps> oh my gosh. So if I met her, I would freak out. I'm That'd sure so you cool. would. <laughs> I know. I want her to be my new best friend. We can go shopping, go to lunch at Martha's Vineyard. Mm -hmm. um, but actually, so we have a break now. But when we come back, we'll be talking to Terry Morgan, the National Director of Recruitment. So Monroe. let's go to Monroe. Let's go to break.